Yes, true story. Uh, as a young man, just broke, broken into the first team, and uh, I had the the habit really of just phoning dad, my father, uh, on the Friday night prior to the games. And of course, you, you only played on a Saturday or midweek, and you always kicked off at 7:30 in the evening, three o'clock in the afternoon. And we were playing Tottenham Hotspur down at uh, White Hart Lane. And as a young man, just broken into the side, uh, I was a dogged, determined little rat. And uh, Dad says to me, you're at Spurs tomorrow, aren't you? I said, yeah. He says, have you got a man marking job? I says, I have. He says, uh, who are you marking? I says, Jimmy Greaves. And he said, he says, don't blink. Now I knew what he meant by that, because Greaves, he was like the elusive little ghost. He'd just pop him in the box, and he'd just side foot one in from two yards out, toe put one in, one off his knee, one off his backside. He had the habit of being in the right place at the right time, as his goal record proves. Post-war, greatest goal scorer there's ever been. Absolutely phenomenal goal scorer. And for 80 minutes, I had not given Jimmy Greaves a kick, except wherever I could, round his ankles, round his shins. And all the time, throughout the game, he spoke to me. And my dad said to me, he'll speak to you throughout the game. And he did. How's your dad? How's your mum? Have you moved house yet? What's it like in Burnley? Not playing too well today. And I ignored him, because Dad says, don't listen to him, he'll distract you. And after 80 minutes, Tottenham get a throw in, level with the 18-yard box. Phil Beale, the then Tottenham go uh, captain, came to take the throw in. And I'm man marking Greaves. And if you can picture the scene, I'm stood beside Greaves on the edge of the box on the def defensive side of goal. And he looked at me and he says, Doc, Looks like rain. And I looked up. And in that split second, the throw in was taken. Greaves had spun away from me and side footed it into the bottom left hand corner of the net, and we lost 1 0. All I heard was the roar of 56,000 people. And believe me, never has anybody been more gutted in all their life. But walking off, this was the coup de grace. Walking off, there was a tap on my shoulder, and it's Greaves in. Well played, Michael. That's Shaking my head in disbelief. I'd not given him a kick, he'd only had one kick and he scored with it. He says, well done, Michael. I says, thanks, Jim. He said, did your dad not tell you not to listen to me? And I paused and thought, how do you know about that? He says, he rang me up last night and said, if I do have to score, not, not to forget to mention it. <laughs> and from that day to this, I've never phoned my dad up about anybody. That's a true story. <laughs>